I, I will talk about the stochastic modeling and evaluation using Great SPN framework. <clears throat> Great SPN is the graphical editor and analyzer for timed and stochastic petri dates, and is essentially a framework for modeling system using three different extensions of the PetriNet uh, formalism, which are the generalized stochastic PetriNet, the stochastic well format nets, and the deterministic and stochastic PetriNet. Um, Great SPN is a, actually a collection of separate independent tools that perform separate actions. The tools have a common line interface and are written in C++ for performance, and they are all accessible through a graphical user interface that organizes them uh, and uh, uh, makes them uh, um, simpler to use. The tool, uh, the framework is designed around a modeling uh, workflow that we shall see in the presentation. And last uh, uh, point, it is open source and available uh, to download for everyone. <clears throat> so the, the main tools of Create SPN cover the following topics. There is the, the graphical user interface for drawing and composing models. Then there are various tools for translating input and output formats. Then there are tools for model composition, in particular model algebra and unfolding. Uh, several tools for analyzing the structural model properties. And then tools for computing solutions of Markov decision processes, for computing model checking using temporal logic specification. And then finally, for computing the solution of stochastic uh, models using reachability graph, uh, explicit, explicit symbolic or encoded with decision diagrams or by using simulation and differential equations. Here's a picture that uh, shows the organization uh, uh, of the tools of Create SPN, and you can find more details of this picture into the, in, in the paper, but essentially these are the core tools, the core independent tools that uh, um, build up the, the framework of Create SPN. So let's move to the, the main features of Create SPN. The, the input format now supports the standard PNML uh, format for models, so it supports both the PT and high-level symmetric nets. Unfortunately, since uh, here we are dealing about stochastic models, PNML does not encode stochastic information, so we have to rely on other core formats that uh, support uh, stochastic information. In particular, the two core formats uh, of Great SPN are the NetDef format and the PetriNet project format which all encode these three type uh, of uh, um, PetriNet extension models. And then there are several other uh, model formats for import-export, essentially to support integration and exchange uh, uh, with other tools, in particular the APNN, the GRML, NetLogo, UML, and also PDF and PNG for exporting the models as pictures. The modeling workflow has been designed to simplify the learning curve of the framework, in particular with students in mind, and is made by four basic uh, steps. So the first is drawing the model using the graphical user interface in one of the supported extension and, and also doing model composition. Then as a second step, using the various tools to verify the structural properties of the model. Uh, then we specify and compute the performance indexes using one of the various solvers available. And finally, we can export data or draw plots or essentially uh, visualize the, the result. So let's have a look at these four steps. Model drawing is done inside the editor and the editor is organized uh, in this way. So we have the, the main functions organized in the toolbar at the top level, and these are organized in uh, groups, in hierarchical groups for uh, from basic to advanced functionalities. Then there are the net drawing tools for uh, actually drawing the, the pattern in the, uh, um, that uh, uh, the, the user is interested in. And then the model being drawn is uh, represented in the, this central um, part of the window in which you can add, uh, delete, and uh, edit the various model components. Let's have a look at some examples. This is an example of a generalized stochastic pattern in which we have places which encode the state and transitions which are encoded the, the events. Uh, and transition may have uh, exponential uh, uh, departure times, arrival departure times, uh, uh, and may also have, um, may also be in immediate transitions, which are presented with this uh, small. Um, uh, uh, black bars. This is an example of a, a SWN model, 
which is an extension of the GSPN, in which now we have a type system made by elementary color classes and across domains of classes, and all uh, and places may uh, belong to one of these uh, of these um, type, and then we have uh, tokens that now have a color, and we have uh, colored functions that label the arcs that represent how the the, uh, the colored tokens flow around the network. And let's also see an example of a deterministic and stochastic Petronet, which is another uh, um, uh, uh, extension of the generalized Petronet, in which we also have general uh, transition uh, firing times, which are represented uh, by these black uh, um, transitions. And this is an example that we took for uh, that is presented in the paper, in which we uh, it is for a multi-utility company, in which we actually um, obtained this timing from a log of the company, and we then modeled the, the system uh, using the, the information available from, from the company logs. You can find the, the details of this model in the paper. The second step in the workflow is verifying the structural properties, and this is done in several different ways. Uh, in particular, one can obtain the PT semi-flows or PT flows, uh, the place bound, the siphons and traps, or the basis of the model in order to verify the, the invariant properties. One can, uh, can, um, can play the interactive token game of the model to, uh, to have uh, an intuition on how the model works. Uh, and one can visualize the incidence matrix or other uh, structural information of the model. And then there are also the possibility of doing model checking for deadlock analysis, searchability, or expressing formulas in four different logics, uh, CTL, LTL, FAIR CTL, and CTL star. The third step consists in specifying computing the performance in indexes, and this is done with this interface in which one specifies the model and one of the available solvers, then models can be parametric, so we can instantiate the model parameters. Uh, solvers also are parametric, and then we instantiate the solver parameters. In particular, we typically set the, if we want the solution in steady state on a transient time. And finally, we specify a set of target measures that are computed by this solver invocation. And there are several possible uh, types of measures that can be computed. This is a, a, a list of the solvers that the great SPN frameworks uh, has. In particular, we have the solver that generate the retributed graph, and there are different solvers for the GSPN, SWN, and DSPN models. Then there is the, uh, um, the model checker using decision diagrams. Then there are also the non retributed graph based solvers, in particular, there are, uh, which are based on either Monte Carlo simulation using uh, explicit or symbolic markings or in uh, translation of the model into ordinary uh, and stochastic differential equations. And finally, there are also in, uh, various, various degrees of integration with external solvers. In particular, the, relevant, the most relevant right now are Cosmos, a statistical model checker, and Solve, which uh, offers solution using uh, chronic representation of GSPN and DSPN models, and Storm, which is another model checker. Once the solution has been computed, they are available as a file that can be exported in Excel or CSV, or they can be shown interactively uh, over, um, uh, over the net objects, uh, like, for instance, showing token distribution, uh, average uh, expected token numbers, uh, transition rates, and so on, or, for instance, showing uh, other information like the reachability graph of the, uh, uh, of the network. Just to mention, uh, the Greatest PN is an old framework. We started the development in 1986, so it has uh, 35 years of development, and it is still active developed. In particular, some features that have been added recently are uh, the efficient decision diagram uh, model checker, the new Java GUI with the streamlined workflow, which is uh, designed for targeting uh, uh, students and uh, new users, uh, the DSPN solver, the support for PNML, and also uh, a, a notable uh, example is uh, the Great Mod, which is a dedicated platform for system biology models, which I've not uh, presented here, but is also worth mentioning. To fin uh, finally, uh, Great SPN is open source under GPL version two. It, it runs on all major platforms, so Linux, Windows, and Mac OS. The sources are available on GitHub at this link. 
and we also offer pre-installed virtual machines, which contains the, the pre-installed tools if you just want to try it without installing it on your system. That's all. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Elvio, and thank you also for saving a few minutes. <laughs> um, and uh, there is a question uh, by Cathy. What sort of data can you export, for example, results and in which format? Yeah, the results can be exported. Well, the main format is, of course, uh, uh, tabular data, so Excel and CSV. But then it's also possible to export uh, uh, pictures uh, of plots uh, and other uh, representations. And also, Katy again is asking, what about PNML? Which version of PNML is supported? The 2009, which uh, uh, and it supports both the PT models with inhibitor arcs and uh, the high-level uh, symmetric nets. Okay, and Enrico Vicario is asking, in the SPN model, uh, uh, you also include general distribution beyond uh, the limit of deterministic. Yeah. Uh, do you restrict to a single active instance in any state? He is asking. Uh, the the solver uh, is uh, uh, okay. These are two different questions. One is a modeling, for, uh, and the other is a solution for modeling. There are several possible options. For instance, in this uh, we have uniform. Uh, uh, we are we are Erlang, but it can also be deterministic impulse or uh, other type of. Uh, um, of uh, distribution functions. Then for the solution, the DSPN solver supports just one concurrently active uh, general, dis uh, general distribution, while simulation supports uh, an arbitrary number of uh, concurrently active general distributions. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, I think we have, ah, okay. Um, uh, Enrico is, ag is again asking if in the Markovian models, uh, you also support mark independent rates and switching? Switches. Uh, there are there is a, a limited support for marking uh, dependent uh, uh, rates, but it depends on the different solvers. Some solvers support it, some doesn't. Mm 